So I brought in a nice tray of some treats this morning. Say Merry Christmas to everyone here. Homemade caramels, uh, and including some pecans too, but the homemade caramels inspired a weather segment for today because I commented how the dew point was too high when I made the first batch. These are scenes from my first batch and it felt like it took forever for the water to evaporate. It was taking forever for these caramels to, to caramelize, so to speak. The temperature has to get to 244 and it took longer than usual. And by the way, I'm stirring for 75 minutes plus. So when the dew point is high, it really affects your cooking. And I made a second batch here a week later. The dew point was much lower in the, in the 40s and that was much better for caramel making. So there is definitely a connection in weather and making candy. It's actually proven. You read recipes, you mm -hmm. read the experts and they tell you on a rainy day, if you're making candy, you have to increase the temperature. You might have to cook longer. If you, if you don't, you might end up with too soft or too gooey caramels. He yeah, had one favorite. earlier. These, these, well, <laughs> the tray is empty. Yeah, to be honest, we had a, a whole bunch of these and people have taken, uh, taken advantage of them. And I understand we said they're, they're amazing. But I, I got I to gotta bring something back up that you just talked about. You said 75 minutes of nonstop you have, You cannot stop. I, had, I tried one year to take a break. But you get a busy house full of kids. You get two kids, and then I mean, how do you how do you manage your? You had the morning? caramels; they're worth it. Yeah, they are. Indeed. Uh, next time I'll do it on a lower dew point day, though. That's mm -hmm. for sure.